sort of start with this one. I'd, I'll, I'll do this one sort of as like an example. Um, but to turn a percent into like a fraction, it's easiest to turn this into a decimal since decimals to percents. So say you have 20%. In every number that doesn't have a decimal at the end, there is technically a decimal here, but after it is just zeros, so you don't need to write it, but it is there. And for per to turn percents into decimals, what you do is you move it over two spots. So this becomes 0.2. And decimals can be rewritten in fractions so for instance, since this is in your tenths place of a decimal, you can write this as two over 10. And if you ever have anything that's like 0.25 or anything, you can write that as 25 over 100. And of course, you would simplify these into um, one fifth, and then 25 over 100 is one fourth. So, since we have a fraction, we want our denominator to be really some multiple of 10. So, 10, 100, 1,000, and so on. And one thing that's good to remember, especially about like anything that's a multiple of five, so which 25 is one of them, which you can tell if your one's place is zero or five, is multiples of five can always go up to 100. So to turn this into a decimal, a good way to do it is to multiply this by um, basically multiply the top and the bottom by four so that you get um, something that's over 100. So you'll end up with 12 over 100. And then from there, you'll do what you did with this 12 and move your decimal point over two. So you'll end up with point 0.12. When you have like a number like this, you're taking it out of one. So with percents, when it's given to you as a decimal, you're always, always gonna move the decimal point only two to the right. So for something like this, you'll have 0.125, and you'll move it two over. So you'll have 12.5%. But if you had something like, instead of 0 0.125, if I gave you 1.25 and then told you to make that into a decimal, that would be 125%, since you're moving your decimal over two. And they might also write it as not necessarily the percent sign, but like as 12.5%. But basically, if it tells you that it's a percentage, then you'll move it to the left. Otherwise, you'll always just move it to the right too.